everyone. Welcome to the teaching content video for this month. Thank you so much for tuning in. Last month we looked at spinning over the fold and this month we're going to look at spinning over the fold again but from the tip of my finger. Last month we did it from, sorry, from the top of my finger. Last month we did it from the tip with the tip of my finger pointing towards the orifice of the wheel. This month we're going to look at it from spinning off of the top of my finger and creating almost like um, almost as if we're folding the fibers in half. This creates a very, very shiny, very smooth yarn. These monthly teaching episodes are brought to you by the support that you have provided on patreon.com slash pearls. And I wanted to say thank you so much for your ongoing support and for the work that we are doing over there at Wool and Spinning. For more, please check out wellforpearls.com. And if you'd like to get in touch with me and if you have any questions or comments throughout the um, week and month and any questions about the content in this video, please don't hesitate to reach out rachel at wellforpearls.com. All right, so we're going to be spinning off the top. This is a 50-50 yak silk blend. Um, you were introduced to this blend last month. I'm going to get my wheel going here and you'll see that I have some single spun and now I need to somehow get them to join from this fiber supply that I have on the top of my hand. Now I'm going to do that again. But basically what we're doing is spinning right off the tip of my finger here, the top of my finger, sorry. Last month we looked at me holding my hand towards the wheel in this direction. And this month we are looking at it, my hand is being held perpendicular to the wheel. And I'm just very gently lifting those fibers up off the top of my finger and drafting them forward. I'm basically using a short forward draft and the distance of draft that I'm moving my hand forward towards the wheel remains consistent. And you may also notice that I'm ever so slowly moving my way across the top of my finger towards my knuckle. And when I get over there, I will start moving my way back. I find with this particular draft, it is very labor intensive you're sitting here doing this for the entire spin and it is labor intensive i don't know how else to describe it i find this draft means that i have to be sitting up quite straight i need to be sitting at a chair i need to be very very mindful of what i'm doing and how i'm spinning i don't find it a particularly relaxing or a meditative draft And I also find that it, I have to really work at keeping myself consistent. So moving my hand forward. Okay, so I've got a, quite a thin spot here. Um, moving my hand forward in a, in a very consistent manner takes a lot of effort. And I find this way of spinning very tiring, which kind of maybe sounds a bit counterintuitive. So I need to get my fiber supply back onto my um, sing singles. What I'm actually going to do is lay this right on top and let some of those fibers drift up and cap be captured into my singles. Let me do that again for you. So I'm actually letting some of those fibers drift up and be caught by the, by the twist. The fuzzy bits in your yarn, no matter how what type of join you're doing and no matter how you're joining, the fuzzy bits of your fiber supply always want to go to the twist. It's sort of think of it like static electricity. It's just drawn to it and it gets pulled up into the momentum. I had to adjust my fiber supply there because I could feel that it was being pulled out of my hand. And basically I just work my way, when I'm spinning this way, I just work my way through my fiber supply and when I'm sort of towards the end of my fiber supply and I've sort of got the dregs left, I'll grab some more from my comb top and I'll lay that over my finger with this sort of messed up fuzzy stuff that's sort of left over. sort of fold it in there, lay it over my finger. And 
and the whole process starts again. If you have any questions about spinning over the fold, either from this month or from last month's video, please don't hesitate to reach out. Spinning over the fold, either forward like this or perpendicular to your wheel like I'm doing right now, are great drafts to use for things like silk. Um, you know, longer stapled fibers that you want to preserve some of the luster and the sheen of. Um, and because you're folding the fibers in half, like with this one, and spinning it off the top and literally folding those fibers in half, um, you may find that your, your, the yarns that you want to be really lustrous are incredibly lustrous when using this type of a draft. All right, until next time, happy spinning. Bye guys.